What if I told you that you could earn $434 or even more every day without leaving your home? Then I, I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. I know it may sound crazy, but there's a side hustle that anyone, including you, can do from anywhere in the world. The best part is you don't have to worry about having previous experience to get started. And unlike other YouTube videos, I'll show you real people from all around the world who are making crazy amounts of money with this amazing opportunity, which is social media management. So grab your espresso, take a sip, and let's go. So let's start with the basics. What is social media management or SMM? Well, I have a YouTube channel, a Twitter account, an Instagram profile, a TikTok, and even a blog. You see, managing all of these accounts and posting content consistently takes a lot of time and effort. It can be challenging for me to keep up with everything by myself, and sometimes I struggle to be consistent on all of my platforms. And that's why businesses hire social media managers. For example, the freelance platform Upwork has a social media manager, and I had the chance to meet her at the Executive Summit in Chicago last year. Her job is to come up with ideas and make plans for how Upwork uses social media. She decides what to post on Upwork's platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. She does a great job and Upwork trusts her to make them look good. At the Executive Summit, she made fun videos on TikTok where she interviewed freelancers. She also shared pictures and videos from the summit on other platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Now let's talk about some of the common tasks that you'll need to do if you become a social media manager or SMM. Keep in mind that these tasks can be different for each job and depend on the company's social media plans. So the common job duties of a social media manager include creating content, scheduling and publishing content, analyzing and improving social metrics, developing influencer marketing campaigns, sourcing UGC or user-generated content, managing social media pages, building the community and replying to comments and DMs, and staying on top of the latest trends and tools in the social media space. Like I mentioned before, those tasks are what social media managers usually do, but there might be other tasks as well, depending on what the company wants to accomplish with its brand. And here's an important thing to know, there's a big difference between simply using social media platforms platforms and actually understanding how they work, like their algorithms. Growing your social platforms and organically building an audience are skills that you'll need to learn. And that's why I'm really excited about the sponsor for today's video, because they can help you learn all about social media management and gain specific skills for different platforms. You may know Skillshare for classes in photography, film, video editing, and illustration, but did you know that Skillshare has hundreds of career-focused classes too? They cover a wide range of categories, like making animated videos, creating graphic designs, starting your own freelance business, learning about marketing, and even becoming more productive. The best class I found for learning social media management is called Powerful Social Media Marketing for Beginners by Maggie Starr. My name is Maggie Starr and I first began working as a social media manager in 2016, mainly as a way for me to do creative work for a variety of clients while I traveled the world. This class is perfect for beginners like you who want to become social media managers without having to buy expensive tools. It teaches you all the tricks and secrets that Maggie wishes she knew when she started working as a social media manager. You'll learn how to use popular social media platforms for business, create awesome branding and content marketing, develop a smart social media strategy, and make your work process better. I actually took this class myself and really enjoyed the class project at the end. It allows you to strategically analyze a brand's social media presence and provide suggestions for improvement as if they were a real social media management client. And if that doesn't convince you, then take a look at the review section. It's filled with amazing feedback from other people who have taken the class. The first 1,000 of my viewers who click the link in the description below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. That means you can start learning social media management and other valuable skills right now. Just click the link below and get started today. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now that you know where to learn social media management, you might be wondering how much money you can make once you've learned those skills. So take a sip of your espresso and get ready. 
because I'm going to show you some freelance social media managers from all around the world and their earnings are going to blow your mind. Okay, open up a web browser and go to Upwork.com. Make sure you have the filter set to talent and then type in social media manager in the search bar, then click the option right here. On this page, we can apply additional filters to find the freelance social media managers who earn the most money on Upwork. If you don't have an account, copy and paste social media manager into the title search field. If you already have an account like I do, then use the exact phrase field instead. Then click apply to see the results. On the left hand side of the page, look for the talent quality section. Click on the top rated and top rated plus options to select them. Let's filter for freelancers who charge $20 or more per hour. Select freelancers under the talent type section. Then for job success, select 90% and up. For the earned amount, select $10,000 or more. And finally, for the hours build, select 1000 or more. Now we have a list of highly rated social media managers who make a lot of money on Upwork. When creating your own Upwork profile, you can use these successful freelancers as inspiration. You can also take it a step further and look for freelancers who are in the same location as you. Now let's take a look at social media freelancers from different parts of the world. Let's start by checking out Peyton M a social media freelancer from the US. She has earned over $90,000 on Upwork and currently charges $70 an hour for her social media management services. I really like the first two sentences of her profile description. Did you know that in advanced search, only the first two lines of your profile description are visible to clients. That's why it's important to make those lines catchy and interesting. Peyton also has a great portfolio, which is super important if you want to become a social media manager. I really like how she presents her work in case study format and I even use that style in my own Upwork portfolio. And you don't have to wait for clients to start building your portfolio. You can begin by documenting the process of growing your own social media accounts. Another option is to offer your services to someone you know, like a small business owner or a content creator. This way you can gain experience and showcase your skills without having official clients yet. Now let's get to the important part. Peyton's work history. We'll take a look at the job she has done as a social media manager and find out how much she got paid for each of them. In this first job, she helped grow an Instagram account and earned over $40,000. This shows the crazy potential of Upwork that many people might not realize. Just one job can make a big difference in your life. All it takes is staying consistent and disciplined in your job search. Here's a job for social media marketing, content creation and management for a new brand. Let's click on it to learn more. If a job is public on Upwork, we can see the job description below. This is a great way for you to research the skills that you need to learn, like on Skillshare. Read the job descriptions and take notes on the common tasks and requirements. It will help you understand what you need to know for similar jobs. Now let's take a look at the job that is still ongoing. It seems to be a social media manager job that was originally supposed to be short term but ended up lasting for a long time. Once again, it's really important to read the job description and take notes of things you need to do and what skills are required. Just make a simple list of skills that you can start learning and pay close attention to the skills section. It's really important because it affects how your profile appears in search results and the kind of jobs that you are suggested for. Take a look at successful social media freelancers like Peyton and use similar skills on your profile. This will help you attract the right opportunities and rank for the right keywords. So overall, Peyton has a really good profile, but there are ways to make it even better. I suggest she creates a video to introduce herself and show off her skills, and this video would be displayed below her earnings. She could also improve her job title and description. Since she has earned top rated plus status on Upwork, she could create a title like this. And for the description, I would be sure to mention some of the big name clients that Peyton has worked with and highlight specific social media metrics that she has enhanced for them. 
like follower count growth or increased engagement rates. Alright now, let's check out a social media freelancer from another country and see how much money they're making on Upwork. This freelancer is from India and has earned over $40,000 on Upwork and right now they charge $50 per hour for their social media management services. I really like their profile description and it's similar to mine. They used one of their best client reviews to show off their skills and make potential clients feel confident in working with them. And remember, the first couple of lines in your profile description are what clients see when they search on Upwork. You want those lines to be super catchy and grab their attention right away. Just like I mentioned for the previous freelancer, if he creates a video to introduce himself, it would make him stand out even more. Now let's talk about the portfolio section. I really like how he includes specific numbers and results in the titles of his portfolio items. It shows potential clients what he can do for them as well. Instead of using a gallery, he could use a case study format to describe his social media management projects. This would make it easier to understand and follow the progress of each project. Now let's look at his work history and earnings. In this first job, he was in charge of posting on two Instagram accounts related to healthcare. He posted around three times per week and earned a little over $9,600 for this job. It looks like most of the social media management projects he completed paid around $20 an hour, and he has some really good reviews. Now, let's look at the projects that he's currently working on. Here's a social media specialist job, and he's earned $4,500 at his current rate of $50 an hour. His main tasks include creating plans for social media content, making posts on different social media platforms, and using analytic tools to track how well the company is doing on social media. There are so many high paying clients like this one who's invested more than $90,000 on Upwork. It's important to be patient and disciplined when searching for jobs. I know it's difficult, but don't give up. It took me around three months to land my first job on Upwork, but in my first year, I made over $126,000, so don't give up. Now it's time to start making money and look for social media manager jobs. I'm going to share the same strategy that I personally use to find jobs on Upwork. First, go to upwork.com and make sure that you're looking for jobs. Then type social media manager in the search box and then choose that option from the list. Click on advanced search, paste the same phrase into the title search box and then click search. This will show you a list of jobs with the title Social Media Manager. You can choose to look at jobs in the United States or worldwide. For now, let's keep the option for US only jobs turned off. Now, let's apply some filters. When I first started on Upwork, I searched for entry and intermediate level jobs. After completing a few jobs successfully and receiving five-star reviews, I started looking at expert level jobs as well. My strategy was to focus on the jobs where the clients had lower expectations so that I could exceed their expectations and impress them. This strategy worked well because my first few jobs resulted in five-star reviews with positive feedback. Client reviews are extremely important for your profile, so it's crucial to earn as many five-star reviews as you can. So for experience level, let's select entry level and intermediate. For the hourly rate, let's focus on jobs that pay at least $10 an hour or more. When I first started on Upwork, my first job paid $25 per hour, and now I make $150 per hour. So if your first job doesn't pay a lot, don't worry. Every time I got a five-star review, I raised my hourly rate. If you're trying to get your first job on Upwork, I would recommend looking at both hourly and fixed price. Let's go ahead and select both options in our search. Now let's focus on number of proposals. I recommend selecting less than five, 5 to 10, and 10 to 15. Next, we have client info. Personally, I wouldn't select either of these options. Now let's talk about client history. I'm not going to select any of these options because I've had many clients who are new to Upwork. They hired me without any previous history on the platform, and I've had great success working with them. I've earned a lot of money from these new clients, 
so I believe it's important not to exclude them and give them a chance to work with us. You can choose to filter for specific locations and time zones when searching for jobs, but personally, I don't use these filters. In my opinion, talent clouds are not used very often. You have to be invited to them, and then once accepted, you can bid on jobs within them. When it comes to project length, I usually don't choose any specific options, but if you have a limited amount of time available, you can use the project length filter to find jobs that fit within your desired time frame. Same goes for the hours per week filter. If you don't have 30 hours per week available, you can use the filter to exclude jobs that require more time. But like before, I personally don't choose anything in this category. Recently, there have been some changes with connects on Upwork. I've noticed that larger projects require up to 16 connects to submit a job proposal. <laughs> You serious? That's why it's important to follow these steps and be careful when choosing which jobs to apply for. You want to pick the jobs where you have the greatest chance of winning. But when it comes to connects needed, I personally don't choose any specific options. And you can choose to filter for contract to hire jobs. These are jobs where you start as a freelancer and later the client can decide if they want to make it a full-time job. Personally, I don't want to be a full-time employee again so I don't select this option. Now we have a list of 487 social media manager jobs that give us the best opportunity to stand out and get hired. I always choose the newest option to sort the jobs because I want my proposal to be one of the first 10 submitted. It doesn't mean you shouldn't apply for jobs with more than 10 proposals, but I think you have a better chance of being noticed with only five to 10 proposals submitted. Also, I highly recommend saving the search so that you don't have to set these filters every time that you look for jobs. Every job in this list has social media manager in the job title. I suggest using the same filters, but also searching for other job titles related to social media management. Upwork can help you by providing suggestions. These suggestions show the most popular job titles that people search for on Upwork. To find them, make sure you have job selected as the filter, then start typing social media in the search bar. Upwork will show you auto suggestions like social media marketing, social media content creator, social media strategist, and social media designer. Now pay attention to this step. Instead of clicking on any job title here, which would remove our filters, we're gonna do something different. Click on advanced search instead. Then in the search field for job title, type in social media marketing and click search. Now we have another list of 368 jobs that are related to our skills and experience, but we can find even more opportunities by searching for other social media management skills. To do that, go back to the search bar and type in social media again. This time, look for related skills like social media strategist. Click on advanced search, type in social media strategist in the title search field, and then click on search. This will give us a much shorter list of just 25 jobs, but it adds to the overall number of jobs that we can apply for. It's important to be creative when searching for jobs. If you have expertise in a specific social media platform like Instagram, you can type Instagram into the search bar and then find jobs related to Instagram marketing or Instagram growth. You can do the same thing for other platforms like Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. This way you can find jobs that match your skills and interests on specific social media platforms. Now here's an important thing to remember. When you set those filters on your job search, you've gotta be really active. You can see this job was posted 19 minutes ago and only a few freelancers have applied. So here's a pro tip that will increase your chances of getting hired. Save your search terms and then open them in different tabs. Then keep refreshing those tabs as much as you can. By doing this, you will be one of the first to see new job postings and increase your chances of getting hired. You can also save jobs that you're interested in by clicking the heart button. This way you'll have a list of saved jobs that you can come back to and apply for. It's important to know that just one client on Upwork can completely change your life. 
I personally work with about three to five clients each week and make around $200,000 every year on Upwork. So if you ever feel like you're having a hard time winning jobs, don't worry. All it takes is that one client to give you a chance and that chance could turn into a job opportunity like this one I have right now. Now the secret to winning jobs on Upwork is to have a profile, portfolio, and proposals that grab attention and help you stand out from other freelancers. And I put this video up right here that's helped freelancers win jobs from all around the world. Check it out.